and warm with you. Welcome to Carrie Twins Corner. So today I'm going to be talking about diverse spirituality, um, hierarchy, spiritual complex and um, the challenges that some people face in the spiritual community. So I'm going to start with a benchmark of how wonderful it is across the world to have such diverse spiritual beliefs and communities and also the spiritual cultures that we all learn from. For me, I, it really doesn't matter what you believe in or don't believe in because if your purpose and agenda is to better yourself as a person, to lessen pain and suffering um, for the world, the universe and um, creatures great and small and humankind, then to me, how you what you believe in to do that really doesn't matter and what I'm seeing is is that people are starting to um, gather this momentum if you don't believe in this um, then it's wrong and what I'm seeing is is that people who are going through a um, period of pain and suffering um, in some cases are being told you have brought this into your life because of the spiritual community you're in the beliefs you have the objects you have in your home and this is why this is all happening to you i really think this is so horrible because when you've got someone who is feeling all of that pain and suffering, the last thing they need thrown on top of that is self-blame, self-guilt and self-punishment. And um, that to belong in this new spiritual community, you have to abandon all of your old beliefs. That you have to burn literature or get rid of literature that you once used to read to gain knowledge or you sell your home, or you get rid of the objects. Um, and I find this astounding that, you know, people are not accepted for who they are, even down to you need to cover those tattoos up or laser them out because of the symbolism or imagery doesn't, doesn't fit the criteria of the new belief and community that you're coming into. I can't believe how many barriers and divisions are being put up in, in the community. And you would think that we were gonna be moving forward and lessening all of this. And it's, it happens throughout all walks of life. But I think um, a lot of people are, going, are under a lot of pressure, feeling that they have to, you know, almost erase their whole past um, existence to be able to lead a more accepting life and um, I think that's really sad and hard for individuals to have to feel um, the you know a wonderful scenario is when you have all these different spiritual communities saying yeah come on in you know so for example if you have a pagan who wants to go and visit a church and have a chat with a vicar great you know and then people are walking from away from that conversation seeing someone's perspective understanding but and um, but almost recognizing they're both achieving that common purpose and goal and agenda and I think you know that that is wonderful and to me it's um, when I'm seeing people saying like unless you walk this path you are going to be condemned how on earth can somebody be condemned for um, wanting to lessen pain and suffering that makes no spiritual sense whatsoever. And um, I used to go to chapel when I was younger. And um, I, you know, I learned that there, there, there was a particular man 
and he, you know, walked this earth and what he did was accepted people who were shunned by the highest spiritual community around them. And what I was taught was that um, he extended a hand of love without, you know, coercion or um, control. And that it was about these people bettering themselves from the place they were in. So this is why I find it really um, difficult when I'm hearing and seeing such um, hate being spread and built. And I really don't think a lot of people actually understand that is what's happening, that their energy is stigmatizing others, isolating others, shunning others. And when you've got all that energy building up, that is not good. And I, the spiritual battle that I recognise that's happening is not because people got different belief systems. It's the agenda, intention and stigma that is causing the spiritual battle and that lines are being crossed in the sand and unless you follow our way you can't come into our arena that is what i feel the limitations are and how this spiritual battle is being played out and um, don't get me wrong some people um, they have, you know, walked a very negative spiritual path where they have inflicted pain and suffering or they have conjured evil in. That has happened and I'm, you know, I'm not disregarding that. And then they have chosen to, to walk a different path because, you know, they, they their life experience and knowledge of is taking them to that place so that is perfectly fine um, and you know it's about learning growing and then you know feeling a different part of their life where they're going to be more comfortable and more positive in but then I also see you know there is also then when you're looking at cults whereby it's about the leader's ego and narcissistical abuse and this isn't about um, the individual supporting this cause or leader this is about manipulation control and psychological um, breakdown of people which you know people have to come away from all of that having a lot of professional help um, and you know that is again that's a that's another arena in all of this but um, I can I can honestly say that for me if you're feeling this pressure or you're feeling this pain because someone is telling you that you have done everything wrong in your belief system and that you've brought all this destruction to your life because of what you believed in um, and you wasn't intending to be a hurtful person then you really need to release that pressure from yourself because a spiritual community will allow you to come in have a chat have a listen and allow you to walk away again and make your own mind up of what you feel is going to benefit you. And, um, you know, like I said, I can go down to a local church and um, I'm not being shunned or told that I am, like, being a less of a person because of the beliefs 
that I hold or the um, or the different spiritual paths that I'm taking because it's recognised that you know I'm looking at a more positive agenda in my practice and then there are other churches that you know have almost said oh this is wrong it should not be happening you you shouldn't you know be celebrating halloween and i'm like okay well you know i don't think it's your place to be telling me what i should or should not be doing but maybe sort of sitting down and saying this is what i believe in um, and you know and this is how i um, lead my life but you know it's like there's a huge difference out there and i've seen it with my own eyes and um you think about um yes you know i do agree that some people have practice certain rituals and it have backfired and it has backfired in a very negative way but like i've said you have to think through everything you're doing research understand gain knowledge and remember no whether whether you're praying meditating manifesting spell casting undertaking ritual work it's your intention and it's you asking the questions why you're calling this helping or calling this new requesting and how you want it to come in so for example you know if you know you've got a really selfish person who doesn't give two hoots about anyone else around them and they want to pray and manifest for a million pound I'm pretty sure that they are not going to want carnage, chaos and destruction to come in with that million pounds so they're enduring every day of their life with all this carnage, chaos and destruction with this million pound. So I don't, you know, and that's how I can only simply describe what I'm trying to say and the message that I'm aiming to get across. So, um, yes, I find that, you know, spiritual communities, you should be able to be transient, go and, and sit with them, go and join with them, and also be able to return as well, regardless of what your beliefs are, as long as, you know, there's a respectful interaction and a peaceful one that then I think that's all that really matters um, <clears throat> and I do see that you know this this energy is being built up and you know it should be getting less and less but for whatever reason it's just firing up and those cylinders are really blowing in their different spiritual communities um, and I don't think it's helpful for anyone to feel shunned or wronged um, for something they've just thought about or practised or believed in. Um, <clears throat> so what I would say is if there's at any point that you feel that you need to um, talk to someone or reach out, you can always email me. And I can signpost you accordingly. Um, but it's like, all I'm saying is, is please don't feel pressured because any spiritual community with a positive agenda will allow you to flow in and flow out and make your own decisions without feeling guilty or pressured or to be blamed so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for listening and i just want to say have a wonderful weekend and blessings to you all take care